I am going to release you now to retire to the jury room, but do not begin your deliberations until you receive the indictment and any evidence that has been admitted in this case. Well, breaking right now, jury deliberations underway in the Leilani Simon murder trial in Chatham County. Jurors will decide if Simon is guilty of killing her one-year-old son, Quentin, and putting his body into a dumpster two years ago. Thank you for joining us here on The News at 4. I'm Mike Sela. Our Flynn Snyder is on verdict watch at the Chatham County Courthouse. And Flynn, this follows some intense closing arguments from both sides today. Yeah, hey Mike, after about 40 witnesses and more than 100 pieces of evidence, this case is now in the hands of a jury. Earlier, prosecutors and defense attorneys gave their closing arguments to jurors. Assistant District Attorney Jenny Parker gave an emotional and scathing plea for jurors to return a guilty verdict. She said all the evidence points to Simon accusing the mother of being so desperate for attention, spurred on by drug use and personal stressors, that she killed her toddler, Quentin, and tried to cover it all up. Leilani Simon is not a mother. She is a monster. And I do not use that word lightly. But what this woman did in this case is horrific. And she is absolutely a monster. Now, meanwhile, Simon's defense team urged jurors to put their emotions aside here. Attorney Martin Hilliard said prosecutors have not met their burden of proof and said investigators overlooked other possibilities in this case. He said there are a number of ways Quinton could have died that don't point to Simon's guilt. But that's a lack of evidence. It doesn't cut either way. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, about the burden of proof and circumstantial evidence. When there's a tie in the evidence like that, the tie goes to the defendant every single time. And with that, deliberations got underway. They've been underway for just under an hour or so. They got started at exactly 314 this afternoon. As for how long this could all take, well, it remains to be seen. A verdict could come at any point. It's important to note and be reminded of the fact that Simon is accused of 19 counts stemming from her son Quentin's death. Jurors have to consider all 19 counts, render a unanimous guilty or not guilty decision on each of those counts before deliberations can officially end and jurors can re-enter the courtroom with their decision. Speaking of the courtroom, we have a crew member in there right now keeping tabs on things and will bring us developments as they happen. For now, though, we are live outside the Chatham County Courthouse on Verdict Watch this afternoon. Flint Snyder, WTOC News. Well, WTOC has been following the Quentin Simon murder case since the very beginning. You can use the QR code that you see on your screen to watch our live stream of the case on the Quentin Simon case page. We'll also have a full recap from the courtroom tonight on D News at 7.